Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking Lego Harry Potter and the all-new collectible minifigure series that was just revealed. For the weekly giveaway, simply comment and subscribe, and you could win a prize. Yesterday, Lego revealed via Parade and their own social media the brand new LEGO Harry Potter Collectible Minifigure Series 1. This series contains a whopping 22 minifigures and it looks unbelievable. This series features characters from the original Harry Potter films, as well as the newer Fantastic Beasts series. And with all these great new minifigures with tons of new parts and accessories, we've got a lot to break down. But I want to give one quick warning to those of you who may not have seen all these films, because there could be spoilers in my breakdown. So let's get started. First up, we've got Harry Potter in his Gryffindor school robes, and I really like the details where the printing continues onto the legs. But new for this character, those legs are more of a medium scale leg, and they're completely poseable, unlike the former short legs. This character comes with a wand accessory and headwig, which we'll be getting in a couple sets. Next up, we've got Hermione Granger also in her Gryffindor school robes, but the print is quite different and really nice. She features an existing hairpiece in brown, a wand, as well as her cat. Crookshanks. And just like quite a few characters in this line, those medium legs. After that, we've got Ron Weasley, and this one is again in Gryffindor robes, and I really love the look of all these prints, especially Ron's being a little bit more disheveled. He's got his wand accessory, scabbers, as well as a new hair accessory. The Han Solo hair, now in dark orange. Next up, we've got a young version of Draco Malfoy, all decked out in the Slytherin Quidditch uniform. His accessories include a green broomstick, a wand, as well as the golden snitch. And this character would make a good addition to the Quidditch set coming out. Next up, we've got Luna Lovegood, and I think they captured the actor's likeness really well. She's got a brand new hairpiece, this really interesting printed fabric skirt detail, a bag, a wand, and an issue of the Quibbler, which features a really great print. Next up, we've got Neville Longbottom, and I really love the expression on the face. He's all decked out in the herbology class outfit when they picked the mandrakes out of the pot. He features a wand and an all-new accessory for the mandrake, which looks really great. And this was also a smart recoloring of the headphone accessory for the earmuffs. Next up, we've got Cho Chang. And I really love that we're going to be getting a print for the Ravenclaw uniform. She features a wand accessory as well as a fabric skirt piece. And this character comes with a brown owl. Next up, we've got Dean Thomas, and they did a really nice job capturing the character. The print is unique with the scarf going down the side, and he features a really great printed Gryffindor flag as well as a wand. And with this print and accessory, he definitely reminds me of his look from the Quidditch scene. So you can put him in the Gryffindor stands of the upcoming Quidditch set. Next up, we've got He Who Shall Not Be Named Lord Voldemort. And I like this simple print and the way it continues onto that newer piece for the robes. He features a white wand as well as his snake, Nagini. And this is a really impressive boa constrictor looking snake. Next up, we've got Dobby. And he has a very sweet looking face print this time around. The print for the torso is grimy and dirty and he features a book accessory with a nice print for Tom Riddle's diary as well as a sock printed on a tile. Next up, we've got Professor Trelawney, and I really love the look of this character. The face print captures the character so perfectly, and I really love the new hair accessory with some great printing for the headband. The print on the torso is really nicely detailed, and it continues again onto that new dress piece. Her accessories include a wand, and she wouldn't be the Professor of Divinations without that teacup piece, which is brand new and seems to separate from the printed saucer. Next up, we've got Cedric Diggory, featuring his uniform from the Triwizard Tournament. On the left here, we can see his main accessory, which is the Triwizard Cup itself. And it's great to finally get this character. Next up, we've got Professor Flitwick. And I really love the look of this character, with that great new hairpiece, the large bow tie, and a really nice print for the face and the torso. His accessories include a wand, as well as this all-new megaphone piece, which looks really nice. Next up, we've got Mad-Eye Moody, and this one looks really good. I love the print that continues onto the legs, and you'll notice that one of the legs is different than the other. The print on the face features his mad eye, and I really like the look of his hair. His main accessories include this walking stick, as well as a wand. Next up, we've got Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak. 
He features that great new hairpiece for the line and this large shimmery cape piece with printing on the inside to create the invisibility cloak. You can see more of the printing underneath in some other photos, and it features the pajamas he's wearing when he first receives the cloak. The last one from the Harry Potter line is Albus Dumbledore in his look from the Half-Blood Prince. He features a great hairpiece with the hat built in, and I love this new beard piece as well. The print is highly detailed and it continues again onto that new piece for the robes. And his main accessories include a wand, as well as a dish featuring this swirling pattern, which is actually the Pensieve from the books. And onto the characters from Fantastic Beasts. First up, we've got Newt Scamander, and although this one looks like one we've gotten, it features an all-new print. The design on the torso looks so great, and you can see poking out of the jacket is the creature Picket. His accessories include a wand and an all-new opening briefcase piece, which I think looks really nice. And included with this minifigure, we have the Niffler, which I think looks so perfect. Next up, we've got Tina Goldstein, who looks a bit different than the version from LEGO Dimensions, this time featuring a navy cap and an updated print on the torso and the legs. I like her concerned facial expression, and her main accessories are a wand, as well as this hot dog piece in a dark tan and a dark red color. Next up, we've got Jacob Kowalski, and I really love the design for this character. They captured his more portly design with the print on the torso, and you can see the new suitcase open, featuring some pastries inside, just like the business idea he had in the original movie. Next up, we've got Queenie Goldstein, and I love the expression on this character's face. The hair is just perfect, and I really like the navy blue outfit, with printing on the torso, legs, and even for the shoes. Her main accessories include a wand, as well as this brand new bread piece, meant to represent the apple strudel that she made in the movie. Next up, we've got Credence Barebone, and I think the hair piece is spot on. The character looks sad just as he did throughout the movie, and the print on the torso is pretty detailed. His main accessory is a 1x2 tile with a print for the new Salem Philanthropic Society. Last but not least, we've got Percival Graves, and I really love the detailed print that continues from the torso to the legs. And the slick back hair piece features the gray coloring on the side, just as it did in the movie. His main accessory is a wand piece, and his face is a bit of a tip-off to the transformation feature this minifigure will have. So there you have it, folks. That was the LEGO Harry Potter Collectible Minifigures Series 1. And the fact that they're calling it Series 1 is a huge tip-off that we're going to be getting Series 2 and hopefully more beyond. I will definitely be trying to pick up these in August because all 22 figures look really exceptional with wonderful prints, brand new pieces, and just overall that Harry Potter fun that we love. But with 22 figures in the line and usually 60 per case, at least 6 of the minifigures will likely be more rare than the others. But we'll have to wait and find out. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me and don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be more Harry Potter and other 2018 set news coming soon. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of the series? And which ones were your favorites? And remember, for my weekly giveaways, simply comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click to learn all about the LEGO DC Comics superhero sets coming out soon and don't forget to subscribe.